things. I just fucking woke up. It's like 8.30 in the morning. Uh, still a little bit wet out, and uh, I'm not sure if uh, i be able to go riding or not. I have off today, uh, which is kind of cool. Sorry, I look like fucking dog shit. Uh, anybody catch vinyl last night? Fucking out of control episode of some bike club shit going on. It was, it was good. I, I liked it. But, uh, yeah, like, I just can't wait for fucking Game of Thrones. Like, it's gonna be so sick. Like, can't wait. But, uh, also can't wait for, uh, the weekend before with the Decibel Fest, Choosing Death Fest, like, there's so much good shit happening in Philly, I'm stoked. Spring's coming, which means good weather, which means more work, which means more fucking money, which means traveling. I need a fucking, at least a couch to stay on in California for a month, and then a couch or floor out back, I'll sleep in a fucking tent, whatever, in Austin, Texas, for a month next February, maybe like a month and a half, like in the southwest, south by southwest, so maybe till April, okay, so February to April, like, I'll pay rent, whatever, I just, I can't be in Delco for another full year. And, uh, we're listening to some fucking Hellhammer, because why the fuck not? Like, if you don't like Hellhammer, you know, you can always just listen to Celtic Frost, like, <laughs> but, uh, I, I just like how, like, you know, like, Tom Warrior had no idea how fucking, like, big... Like, this sound was gonna be, like, it, it's fucking sick, really, like, from going to this, to fucking, like, what he's doing now in Trypticon, like, I'm positive that's how you say the name again, these fucking foreign countries and their, like, weird ways of saying, like, words, and, but, like, this record... Like, it's so fucking heavy. It's, uh, I can't even pronounce the fucking title of it. Uh, it's not the new. Um, see, I forget what Trypticon record this even is. It's got, uh, like, Abyss Within My Soul on it. It shrouds the cage, shrine, a thousand lies. Uh, it's like, Eper Sadia Dimanios, or some fucking thing in Latin, I think, I don't, I honestly don't know, I just know, like, that guitar tone is fucking so heavy, like, I'm just gonna turn this off for a second, squeeze the fucking invisible arm. No, that's an invisible grapefruit. And it's got the Tom Warrior grunt. Yeah. <clears throat> I love that shit. <laughs> I love when, like, Napalm Death would, like, rip it off, and, like, Barney would be like, Ooh! Yeah! got all that echo on his vocals. <laughs> with the shit they did with Scott Burns. It's, I, I still think it's fucking sick, but it just, like, makes me laugh when, like, I hear it, because I just know it's, like, a straight, like, Celtic Frost fucking, like, total worship, like, cause those dudes, like, especially around that, like, era, it's, like, if you watch an Apon Death DVD, like, it's actually called, like, Napalm Death the DVD, like, and it has, like, the, the old logo with, like, the Grim Reaper, and it's, a, it's like, a live show from, like, 1990, I, I think, like, <laughs> Tom Warrior Grunt, 
I needed to get it in the vlog because to me it's an important part of metal history. Especially like that caveman style metal, but like as like you know, how as awesome as Crypticon is, like it's not Celtic Frost. But I mean it sounds like like the last Celtic Cross record, which I love to death. I remember I listened to that for like I don't think it left my car for like eight months, maybe a year even. Fucking amazing, amazing record. And it, it even had that video that sometimes like you get lucky on like Headbangers Ball and like this is before YouTube. But I'm not gonna say I was one of those dudes that used to like, you know, trade my like cousins like metal tapes and like had correspondence in Sweden and heard like the at the, at the gate demo when I was in like fucking elementary school. Like none of that happened. I mean my cousin uh Kaz from Crucifier and shit like Hearst like I remember getting like a Hearst cassette and like it was straight up like evoking and like incantation worship and I'm I, I don't know who the, what those who those bands are. I'm fucking in second grade. I just thought it sounded cool, and then I fucking get into like Morbid Angel. I got a Morbid Angel cassette off my fucking friend's older brother. I don't know how he had it because he was not like in the metal at all. Like, let's put some Napalm Death on for you. Wake you guys up. I'm not, I don't have all, like, like I said, I just restarted my vinyl collection. Actually, I didn't just say that. That was in, like, a fucking, like, post I made. But, yeah, I restarted my vinyl collection. It's doing pretty good. Like, it's, it's a good selection, but it, I only have, like, nine, uh, ten records right now. I mean, <laughs> Barney's Tom Jordan. Tom Warrior growl, and we should all appreciate that, but, uh, fucking, I completely lost track of what I was talking about, I like to smoke when I have my coffee, so, just a little, you know, kinda lit, so, kids, don't do that shit, man, go to school, do something fucking positive with your life. I mean, the most positive thing I ever did was actually, actually accomplished my high school goal of writing for Dig Magazine. And the thing is, that makes this so important to me, this specific issue is, I have another copy, it's not fucked up. Uh, you can't see it, but it says head first here after the Portland article, which is the 30 and plus article, which I also helped write. But, uh, Ruben on the cover, my favorite rider besides Scarbo, like, ever, ever, ever. Especially in fucking high school, like, when Forward came out, I was obsessed. But, like, I remember when this came out, like, Borders Bookstore was still open, and, like, like, I wrote this article on the request of, like, like, Van, after his last head injury, like, like, his ex-wife had said something to me, and then Van and I went out to lunch, and he told me about, like, how shitty it was, and I decided, all right, I'll talk to some people I know who have had head injuries, and this one kid's friend actually died, like, because his fucking handlebars broke, and, like, he told me what kind of handlebars they were, I'm not gonna say what kind of handlebars they were, but put it this way, they don't exist anymore, but this wasn't that long ago, but this is what, like, when I showed my mom this, I was so proud, see that, by Adam Snellenbach, now, this might not mean a lot to you guys, but to me, having a double page fucking article and dig is a big deal, I killed it in this issue, like, I did the intro to this article, uh, 
I did all the questions with the lucky on the where is it? Yeah, the the Portland 30 article. I don't know if you can see my name right there. Uh, Stilecki. Uh, I'm over here. My bad. That was photos by Delecki. Questions by me and Delecki. Whatever. If you could still fucking go to the Dig website and get good back issues, you can get fucking good content that you're not gonna find on the come up. Well, you will, but they won't fucking bank dig like like they fucking should. You're stealing content. If you're stealing content, at least fucking put a link to Dig's website. Like, fucking throw, like, throw a dog a bone. You're fucking selfish. Like, how hard is it to put a link? Like, we got this from the Dig website. Even though our, there are competitors, like, you guys, man, it fucking bums me out. Like, it seriously does. Makes me sad. But we gotta wrap this shit up. I'll uh, wrap it up with some fucking. Put on uh, the new Leviathan record for you. Which is fucking amazing. I should own it on vinyl within like the next couple weeks. I'm waiting to get paid and I have some other shit to take care of first. But Scar Sighted is the quintessential. Leviathan record in my opinion True You know black metal Dudes would be like oh like His demos are the only Thing that's real and yeah his Demo compilations and Shit are fucking amazing Same thing with the Lurker at Chalice Demos like I would love for him To make a new Lurker at Chalice record With his girl Stevie Floyd from fucking Dark Castle how, like, that would be so sick, but they have another project called, I think it's called Taurus. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put in, put on, like, one of my favorite, like, most vicious songs on, like, Le Leviathan's new record, Starsighted, on Profound Lore Records, and uh, you can buy that off their website. Well, actually, you have to buy it from Leviathan, from Jeff Whitehead, a.k.a. Rest's record label devout records i'm pretty sure that's that's how you i'm pretty sure that's what it is but that i think that's where you can buy the vinyl at and profound lord just takes care of everything else and with the vinyl comes artwork for each fucking song so it, it's sick like, everything i love about u.s black I'm just chilling for a second while you guys hear it. Okay. Oh yeah. I still use a landline. 